Can you state your name and who you're playing? I am Alyssa Dryhop. I'm playing the Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter. Everyone knows the Mad Hatter from Johnny Depp to, heck, even the Batman villain. I mean, it's it's iconic, and that's that's a word that's thrown around, but it is. You know, everyone pictures the hat with the ten six sign. How do you make it your own? And especially with being a little bit of a gender twist on it. Um, I'm definitely using that to my advantage. I, to my advantage in the sense that, um, since I am a female, I have a lot more female attire. So I've worked some of that into my costume. Like, you know, I have like big black heel boots and everything. I think that makes it, makes a little bit of a statement. I'm also trying to take what I know of the character from different adaptations. Like, Alice is one of my favorite stories. I saw like the original Disney cartoon, then Tim Burton's adaptation. I've read the book series The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bador, which is a huge new take on Alice in Wonderland. So I'm trying to take different elements of those and work it into the character. Like one thing I do, I change accents very frequently. I just know like in the Tim Burton Alice, Johnny Depp's Mad Hatter, for example, he'd be very light and happy and then have a Scottish accent occasionally. I wanted to take that to a whole new level and then try to bring in a little more general madness into it. Like maybe I am slipping into a little bit of a, I don't know, a weird place, maybe. So let's talk a little bit more about the costume. How, how did you help to make that your own? And tell us a little bit about it besides the crazy spike heels. <laughs> Um, I wanted to use, I was inspired mostly from the original Disney cartoon and the Tim Burton adaptation and I wanted to use those colors but I wanted to incorporate them both to pay homage to both of them so I do, I do splash, I'd have two green um, parts of the costume like the original animated movie and then one thing I loved about the um, Tim Burton costuming was that they incorporated orange into it because orange is my favorite color. But they did it with the hair. I have these big orange pants, but I wanted to be dapper, so I got a suit jacket and the tie and the vest and the button up shirt. I'm very colorful. Oddly enough, the jacket is just a silver, but everything else is just a lot of color. But color that doesn't quite go together. It almost could, but not quite there. <laughs> so, the story is 100 plus years old. Why keep doing it? I think so many people can take something new every out of it every time they see it or even hear about it. When you're a kid, all you think about with Alice is this girl is going on this fun, weird adventure and there's all these colorful characters and different people and it's, you know, fun, a little bit of danger. And I think when you're a little older, like, you know, I'm 22, so, and I still watch it all the time, I think you can appreciate a lot of the storytelling and then even reading the book and everything you can appreciate how the story was told even though it's just so like different off the wall. I've had people tell me before they're just like oh I don't like Alice it's like it was conceived on drugs or something. I'm like no it's just somebody tapping into a whole nother region of their imagination and just putting it out there for everyone to see. So you really, I feel like you appreciate that when you get older. So there's always a reason to keep going with the story. So what has it like been working with this production and with Laugh Riot that, you know, is different from other theater work that you've done? Um, Laugh Riot in general, um, I feel a lot more comfortable to try whatever I want. I, Rob has said it many times, just try it. If you don't like it, do it again. So I always feel comfortable going out there and really doing what I want. And this character in particular, since I really had, from the first rehearsal, I had no limit set. Not a single limit was set on what I could do. So I felt so free to try different things, to really make it my own, to, to still be the hatter that people will recognize, but make it totally unique in my own way. And I had no fear of finally making it the best that I could. Thank you so much. No problem.